All right, well, today is a very exciting day because Fujifilm Instax just announced something that we've all been waiting for. But first, let me go get a coffee. I'm good now. So like I said, I'm really excited about the new link wide printer because that's something I've been and you guys been asking for a very long time. We've seen comments on our previous videos about the smartphone printers constantly requesting for a wide format of that. Well, I am happy to say that this is true now. We have the first Instax wide printer on the market. And then I gotta say, I really like the design of the printer and then also the fact that it's you know quite small and portable. So let's have a look at what comes in the box. All right, so we do have a micro USB cable to charge the printer. So on one end we have the micro HDMI and then on the other end we do have a USB-A port. Next we have a hand strap. We have the printer stand. We also have an instruction manual. And then we have the printer itself. So the Instax Link Wide does come in two different colors. We have the ash white as well as the mocha gray. It features an internal battery which can be recharged by using the micro HDMI cable and then using the micro HDMI port located under the printer itself. Now you can plug in that cable to your computer to charge it or you can also use a charging block that you had with your smartphone or any other electronic device. And I'm sure you do have some of these laying around. I know I have a lot of them. Now let's talk about the features of the Instax Link Wide. So first we do have the simple print where you simply go in to your phone and then select an image or you can take a video and select a specific frame and then you can print it. In that mode, you can make adjustments to the brightness, you can crop it to reframe it, you can put on filters as well, and you can also add a QR code if you want it. Now, these QR codes are quite interesting because you can do a lot of things with them. You can link it to your website, you can link it to a voice memo, you can also make it so that it adds the location where the picture was taken. So if you're going on a trip, for example, and then you have a lot of images, you can add the QR code and when you scan it with your phone, it will tell you where the image was taken. And then you can even make the QR code into a hidden message. Now, I particularly like the link to a website because I am a professional photographer. I shoot some portrait sessions sometimes, and then if I have the link wide with me, and then I print some images for the customer, I can then put a QR code on it with a link to my website. So that's quite handy. Now in this mode, you can also add stickers, and there's a lot of them to choose from. You can also add emojis if you wanted, just to make your images a little bit more fun. Now the printer has two different modes. You can set it to the rich mode or the natural mode. So these can be changed into the settings in the app. So the rich mode will give you vibrant colors as well as a lot of contrast. And then the natural mode will be a little bit lighter and then will be a little bit more neutral in terms of colors. Now personally, I do like the rich mode better, but as you can see here, I have some different examples of rich versus natural and then also with the auto filter enabled and disabled. The Instax Link Wide also features templates, which is really fun if you want to give away some Instax print for a birthday party or a wedding or anything like that. You can add some templates and then customize them, change the colors, and there's a lot to choose from and they're all categorized. So you can click on a category and then browse through the different templates and then you can just add it and customize it. And then you have just a very nice Instax wide print with a nice template on it. Now this one's my favorite feature and it is the collage feature because as I mentioned before, I do a lot of portrait shootings. And then with this feature, I can take a couple image from a set and print them together on a single wide print, which makes for a very good look. And that's something I really like. And then you can add, you know, two images, but then you can also add more if you wanted. 
Personally, I do like the two pictures better, but again, you can add more. And then, like I said, this is a feature I truly enjoy. Now, the next feature is sketch, edit, and print. Now, this allows you to take a picture of a drawing or even a logo and then have it on your Instax wide print. So just imagine the amount of possibilities you have. So maybe it's your kid doing a drawing and then you can take a picture of your kid next to a white wall and then have his drawing next to him. Or if you're a professional photographer, you're on a portrait shoot, you can just print the images and give them to your model and then have your logo on the print or have your handwritten website on it. Again, just so many possibilities. So all you have to do is draw, snap, and then print. Now the Instax Link Wide is also compatible for direct print from the Fujifilm XS10, which is very nice. All you have to do is enter the SSID that is written under the printer and then enter it into your camera and then you're good to go. So the Instax Link Wide is something that is truly versatile. Versatile? Versatile. The Instax Link Wide is just something that is very nice to have in many different situations. Again, like I said, if you're a portrait photographer, wedding photographer, scrapbooking, there's so much creative possibilities with this little device here. So I'm super excited about it. And then I'm going to go and print a little bit. <laughs> 